We believe that enlightened retailers are, um, understand that engaged employees provide better customer service and therefore increase their sales. So what we do at Workplace is we help them create schedules that drive their revenues. So what I've done here is I've actually logged in as a store manager to show you the, the, the scheduling product. You can see here we have a store manager of just a single store um, of our Schaumburg store just outside of Chicago. And I've got my schedule summary screen up here. And there's a lot of great information on this screen. What I want to draw your attention to is the SQR here, which stands for Schedule Quality Rating. Let's take some of those key, complex key performance indicators and convert them into a simple one to five star rating. That really is the basis for us of, of smart scheduling, is that, that SQR. Now the great thing about this is, is customers get to define what makes a five star schedule. They not only get to define the star rating, but actually what KPIs are included in that SQR as well. In this example, we can see things such as service level, how well you're covering customer demand, schedule versus budget, how well you're in line with your budgets, and then finally, the associate happiness rating. Previously, it's always been about just the business and the customer. What we're trying to do here at Workplace is involve the associate in that as well, and make sure you're getting the best schedule to meet not only your business and customer needs, but the associate needs as well. So what I'm going to do now, you can see that the schedule for January the 11th there is four and a half stars. That's a great schedule. I don't even need to look at that one. I know it's a great schedule because I've got that four and a half star rating. The next week, however, is only at three and a half stars. So let's take a look at that in more detail. So I click on the week and I'm taken to the weekly schedule view. In that weekly schedule view, I can see a whole host of great information again. I've got my SQR, obviously, and all of my stats at the top of the screen. Below that, I've got some graphs that are showing me how well my schedule match up to customer demand. You can see the green line here, and if I click on that to show you it in more detail, the green line is showing me what I should be scheduling in my store, and the blue bars are showing me what I'm currently scheduling. So it's very easy to see areas of overscheduling and areas of underscheduling as well. And you get one of those, those graphs for each individual day. If I scroll down, I start to see more information about the schedule, some of the stuff you might expect to see, such as the people that are working, the shifts that they're working across multiple days, pending vacation, approved vacation. And at the bottom of the screen, I want to alert you to the, the unassigned shifts there. Those unassigned shifts have actually been offered out to the associates. Just another great way of getting engagement with the associates at a store level. And the associates on their mobile device can actually offer to work those shifts. Once again, just giving them more input into their schedule. Now, as I said before, this schedule is only a three and a half star schedule. So how can I make that better? Well, I can do that manually, but I can also click this button up here called Auto Improve. Now as the name suggests, this is gonna automatically improve my schedule. But how it's gonna do that is it's gonna take the existing schedule as we have it today, and it's basically gonna move the shifts around ever so slightly to better line it up with our customer demand. It's gonna run for roughly 30 seconds, and it's gonna do the best it can to create the best possible schedule. You can actually see here the number of schedule iterations it's managed to go through. So it's already surpassed 50 million different schedule iterations in trying to find that best schedule for me. So at the end of that 30 seconds, what that's gonna do is that's gonna return that schedule to me. And I, as the manager, then have a chance to review what that schedule looks like. Now immediately, when that schedule is returned to me, I can see that the graphs now line up far better with my customer demand. If I take a look at the SQR here in the top right hand corner, I've managed to go from a three and a half star schedule all the way up to a four and a half star schedule. And if you look at the stats in that four and a half star schedule, I've got a very high service level, little to no wasted hours, I'm right on line with my budget. And when you look at that associate happiness rating, I know that this schedule fits well with my associate's work-life balance. It's working with their preferences to find the best schedule, like I said before, not just for the business and the customer, but for the associate as well. So that's how we might fix or improve an existing schedule. The last thing I'll show you here is how do we create a great schedule from scratch, a schedule that's really gonna drive revenue in our stores. If I navigate to the next week, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to create a schedule using the optimizer again. 
using the algorithms that we've got built into the system. And in the same way to auto-improve, it's going to bring up this box which is going to work for 30 seconds. The difference being, rather than trying to fix or improve an existing schedule, it's going to start a schedule from scratch. It's going to create all of those shifts. It's going to assign those shifts to the associates in the store. And, and when it's doing that, it's going to do its best to meet the customer needs, meet the business needs, but also meet those associate needs, making sure it work, falls within their availability, um, their working preferences, to make sure they've got a good work-life balance in the store. So one of the, the key parts of smart scheduling are, are the associates. Um, so what I want to introduce you to is the workplace mobile application. So here we can see what I'm showing you at the moment is, is the schedule. So how do we move our employees from disengaged, sleepy employees all the way to, to brand advocates? Well, the first step is to engage the associates. What we can see here is, is my schedule, and I can see the shifts that I'm working. If I select any of those, I can also see the people I'm working with on those shifts. If I scroll down to the bottom past all of the shifts I'm being asked to work, another way I can engage with the scheduling process is to actually rate my schedule. I've actually rated my schedule here four stars, and that feeds into that scheduling process as well. The next stage of going towards brand advocacy is actually collaborating with your associates. So if I take a look at the extra shifts here, this allows me as an associate to pick up extra shifts in the stores that I'm able to work in. If I take a look at any of these shifts here, I can see there's a shift available, and I can actually offer to work that shift. If I win it or lose it, I'm gonna get a notification to let me know about that. So I've had some input, some collaboration with the scheduling process. And finally, on that journey of becoming a brand advocate, once they are a brand advocate, you can actually give them the ability to look at promotions that they've got in store, things they can tell their friends, things they can talk about when customers come into the store and really sell and be part of their brand rather than just being someone in the store being scheduled.